Hi guys. So this is the new 2023 power taken to 50. A lot of difference between the 2023 and the 2022. They have done a lot of improvements. I'm actually very impressed with how Taken is coming up with their bikes. Every year there is uh, these new features to their models. Uh, these bikes just landed recently. Uh, this is actually the first video I'm doing for the 2023. Um, as you can see, this is a new color. It's a color that hasn't been brought before. It's a nice mixture of metallic green with, uh, with stickers of uh, mint green on it. Huh? Um, a little uh, bit of differences between, between the 2022 and the 2023. I'm gonna go through them in a bit, but I wanna show you guys a really cool feature. This is a push to start key for the 2023 version. This right here. So it has an installed alarm, which is pretty nice. You can actually start the bike with this key if you wish. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try at the end of the video. I'll show you a nice video of how it, of how it works. So uh, the new features are that uh, it has a nice LED headlight. This headlight um, is inclusive only for the 2023 versions. Um, it's pretty bright. A lot of customers have been complaining that the previous 2022 version headlights have not been that powerful. But this is superb, as in this is very, very bright. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys uh, a picture uh, of how it looks in the dark and how bright these headlights actually are. Other features are that uh, it comes with this three millimeter thick windscreen. This windscreen is limited for the 2023 version and unfortunately it's sold separately from the price of the bike. For a windshield it'll, it'll uh, cost you an additional 4,000, 4,800, 5,000 shillings um, to get yourself a windshield overtaken. Um, unfortunately another thing is that the top boxes now are sold separately they are not free like the 2022 version of the Taken. These side boxes and the top box now is sold separately. It's actually very, very worth it. Huh? This 2023 Taken looks really, really good. I feel that it's a little taller. I've, I've, I've uh, gotten a chance to ride it around and I've sat on it. It's a little taller by a few inches. The engine is a little bit more powerful with, uh, with about uh, 0.7 horsepower. Uh, previous version of the 2022 was 19 HP. This is 19.7 HP. So it's yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool uh, Other features include a gold and heavy duty chain Previous 2022 version had the normal chain which required a lot of maintenance for most clients who are traveling far to far places This requires very less maintenance um, It's the heavy duty and it's very very dur durable um, other things that uh, have been included on the 2023 is the dual USB port. This is good for people who are traveling to far country, uh, f f far areas uh, like Ushago and stuff. And a battery on your phone uh, runs out. This is a good souvenir. Um, the 2022 version didn't have that. Uh, what else? I have to say this color is really, really nice. Eh? Um, my preference between this one and the orange one, I'd probably take this one because it's uh, it's uh, simple, it's not too shouting, and it gives you a big presence on the road. This bike actually looks very much more expensive than it actually is. The current price retailing of this 2023 is uh, 297,000. That's without the boxes and the windshield. If you want them with the boxes, all the set of three, it'll cost you 315,000. And uh, if you want to add the windshield, it'll cost you 320k. So for 320k, you get the bike plus the boxes and the windshield, and plus a two-year warranty. It comes with a manual and a toolkit. So yeah, it also has an engine guard plate. If you can see under the engine, it has a nice engine guard plate. This protects the engine from uh, any uh, dents or scratches when you go to tough terrain. I like the colors of the crash guards this time. It's not too shouting. The previous ones were either orange or green. This is uh, this is pretty nice. Uh, it has a PZ30 carburetor. If you see, if you if you can peep in, the... this is nice because it has a nice adjustable butterfly valve that um, you can just twist to adjust your idling depending on where you are. If you're in a high pressure, uh, low altitude uh, county like Mombasa or a high uh, altitude county like Nairobi, 
then you can adjust it according to your to, to the pressure and uh, the amount of fuel you want fed into the engine um, how you adjust this um, usually uh, highly depends on how much this engine will consume some people usually uh, ride with a very high mixture I recommend to always uh, adjust this to an RPM of uh, between uh, 1000 and 1500 on your digital display reading uh, other than that uh, it has an adjustable suspension this suspension can be adjusted according to according to your height so if you're a tall person, we can adjust it. If you're a short person, we can adjust it according to your height, to the perfect height that you that you like. Uh, other than that, it's pretty slick. I really like this bike. It's nice for the for guys who want daily commutes. If you're a beginner rider, uh, you also want the adventure, the thrill of the adventure. It's pretty nice. So stop by Nairobi Power Bikes. Give us a call. Contact us. We'll give you details. Of course, prices are negotiable. They're not fixed, and uh, we can give you a good deal. Um, on the on the units that just arrived i'll be doing a next video of the orange color so you guys can see the orange color and you can choose we also do countrywide delivery you don't have you don't have to visit us we can uh, transact online and we can send the bikes to you we just sent i think about four or five tickets all across kenya in the last two days for previous orders so if you're interested let, let us know and uh, we'll be happy to help you out we have a friendly team um We'll be happy to guide you on uh, on you getting your your taken to 50. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, have a nice day. Thank mm -hmm. you.